What's up, campers? Coach Shanks coming back to you from a new angle in my parents' garage. Very exciting times. Really excited to have another great day of getting better, having some fun, and bringing some fire. That's the number one thing I want. I want the fire, I want the fun, I want the improvement. I hope you guys have been having a great time with this virtual camp. I know us, have, us as coaches, as well as our players, have been having a phenomenal time. Word of the day, phenomenal. Look it up. We've had a phenomenal time being able to teach you all and really have some fun playing basketball. It's the best sport in the world and I won't hear anything otherwise. With that being said, the first thing we're gonna do is get warmed up and get ourselves ready for another great day of camp. First thing we got, I'm gonna have to watch out for this today, so don't laugh at me if I bock my head, I'm a little too tall. I need 10 high knees. However, you're gonna do 10 on my count. So as, as long, just wait for me to get to 10, and that's when we're done with the high knees, all right? I'm gonna toss my ball for a second. High knees to my 10 count. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, get them up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Got a little burn. Got a little burn in the bum. Feeling good. Feeling ready to roll. Next thing we're going to do. Straight to bum kickers. Okay? Again, on my 10 count, try to get that foot all the way to the back. Ready? Set. No, wait a second. What's your favorite? Oh, there I go. One, two, three, four, five, six. I haven't said it yet. Seven, eight, nine, mm -hmm, ten. Very good. Next thing we got, Frankensteins. It's one of my former nicknames. I think I'm a little bit better looking than Frankenstein, but I can see it. So ten total Frankensteins. No countdown, just ten total. So Frankenstein will look like this. Arm straight out, kick the leg up. Arm straight out, kick the leg up. We'll do 10 of those together. 10 friggin' signs. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five. You all are looking like monsters right now. Six, straight friggin' side. Seven, eight, Nine. One more. Ten crazy signs. Great job. Last thing we got for our warm up is going to be our fire portion of the warm up. And what that's going to include is ten count of your favorite dance move in the world. Or if you're feeling extra funky, Switch it up the entire time. I've got a few favorites that I'm thinking of that I can't wait to break out. So, a 10 count of your best dance move. I don't know if you guys are ready for this. On my go. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, there's some, there's this like Fortnite or something. I've never played it before though. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoa. I can feel the funk in the building right now. 
I can just tell that this is going to be the best. Look at this hair. It's going to be wild. It's going to be fire filled. It's going to be a great day at camp. To finish up our warm up, we are going to combine those four warm ups that we just did. I need 10 high knees, 10 bum kickers, 10 Frankensteins, and 10 of your best dance moves. It's going to be a wild time. We're going to have some fun doing it. Ready? I need all of you to yell out, fire! Right now. Okay, never mind. I'm on three count. One, two, three. Fire! Oh, I can hear you guys. All the way from Duluth in Apple Valley, Minnesota. It's about two and a half hours away, and I can hear all of you yelling fire. So I'm going to attempt to set the world record, and I want you to do the same. 10 high knees, 10 bum kickers, 10 Frankenstein, 10 of your favorite dance moves. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo. One, two, three, four, five, slow down. Seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. World champ, me for sure. No way you guys beat me. I'm the greatest ever at that warm up because I invented it. Great job bringing the fire. We have some more fun coming up. All right. Great job with our fire warm-up. I know it's not super warm out right, right now, but I feel like the temperature rose significantly. Another word of the day, that and phenomenal in the world right now. It got warmer due to all the fire that was brought during that warm-up. Next thing we got is a Coach Shanks classic, and that is head, waist, knees, ball, circles. I heard amazing feedback on how much people love doing the ball circles. So it's back by popular demand. First thing we got, we can go a little bit quicker now since we've done this before, but I need 10 around the head. And what I want you to do is not go like this, but I want you to try and keep your head in the same spot. Just move your shoulders, okay? So watch my head, it barely moves. It may just a little bit, but it's mostly all of my shoulders moving, okay? So let's do 10 of those. We're not gonna go super fast, but we will get to that. 10 around the head going either way, okay? Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Take two seconds. You need to finish up, finish up. Now we're gonna go the opposite way. Start in my left hand. I started with my right hand last time. Now I'm going to start my left hand. Okay? Ball revolutions, I'm sorry, ball, ball circles around the head. Starting now, 10 of them, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, finish up. And if you're going faster than me, that is great. I would love it for you to really push yourself and try and beat, try and beat Coach Shanks. I think that would be awesome. I want to see how fast you guys can really, can really push yourselves, okay? Next, we got around the waist. So I need 10 of those around the waist. Again, we can go a little bit quicker now, and I don't need to explain it. 
as we've done before. Ready? Around the waist. Ready? Set. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I hope you all are, are feeling a little bit better about doing this the second time around. Okay? It's going to take practice to get all these things down. You're not just going to be able to be perfect at it right away, but you can continue to work and work and work to get to the point where you feel like you, you've really gotten good at something. Okay? With our left hand now, 10 more around the waist. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. Nine, ten. Great job. Back up a little bit. Try not to knock my melon. Next thing we got is going to be around the knees. Okay? Around the knees, just like this. Okay? No figure eight, just around the knees. Let's do ten. Ready? Set. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. We're going to do the same exact thing, except now going around the other way, just like we have with around the head and around the waist. Okay? Starting in the other hand, ten around the knees. This is great for learning how to be very comfortable with the basketball, okay? Around the knees. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good job. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job. Now, this is where we get to see the best of the best. I need 10 full top to bottom ball circles. And that means around the head, around the waist, around the knees. Then go right back to around the head, around the waist, around the knees. I want to see I want to see who the quickest camper is with this drill. I know this gets a little silly, but this is something our guys do every single day as college basketball players. And if you think you can beat me, I need all of you to email Coach Brugeman and send your videos of ball circle challenges. I welcome it and I will I will send something back, I promise. Are you all ready? Because I'm ready to go. We got 10 ball circle challenge circles. Ready? Round the head. Ready, set, go. One. Two. Three, four, five, six. Oh, I'm slowing down, I'm getting tired. Oh, six, seven, woo, eight. I gotta pick it up. Nine, ten. I don't know if that was my best. I got pretty tired in the middle. But. I still think I'm the camp champion of the ball circle challenge. I'm excited to see if anyone sends in their videos to try and challenge me. Great job. We got some more fun coming up. All right, great job, everyone. Again, if you want to send in a video of your ball circle challenge, we would love to have it. 
And who knows, it might get put on Twitter and Facebook, and then you can become Twitter famous. With that being said, we're going to dial them down just a little bit before we have some fun at the end. What I want to do with you all very quickly is do our ABC shooting progression, okay? And essentially what that means is just walking through our, our jump shot. Very easy and very fun, okay? So there's three different, three different parts of how we do our form shooting, our progression shooting. I call it form shooting. There's an A, there's a B, and then there's a C. First one, again, is A. So you're going to put the ball in whatever hand you write with. For me, it's my right hand, the one I pick my boogers with. Put the ball in my right hand, and I'm going to yell, A! I'm going to sit in a decent low athletic stance, almost like a triple threat stance, except we have the ball right here. A! Next one is B. Oops. A. B. And the last one is going to be C, which is where we shoot the ball up. And again, for all of you who came to our summer camp last summer, got to remember, Coach Bergman always talked about putting the hand in the cookie jar. Imagine your favorite type of cookie in the entire world. It's on that top shelf, and you really need to reach to go get that thing. That is what you're going to make your hand like this, and you're really going to reach up and try and get that cookie on the top shelf. So that is going to, that is going to be how we finish our C part of our form shooting. Okay? And there's nothing wrong with putting two hands on the ball, but when we get to the point where we shoot, we are going to try and just shoot it with one hand. And we're going to try and get backspin. So we want the ball to spin back towards us, just like this. I'll squat down a little bit so you can see the spin. Just like that. Okay? So we're going to do 10 A, B, C form shots. Okay? Each time we're going to say A, B, C so it's really in our head. And we'll speed up towards the end. So it's going to go here to here, and then shoot a little bit quicker, okay? Ready, set, go. A, B, C. Reset. A, B, C. See how that left hand, my weak hand, came off. We don't want to, we don't want to push it with two hands. I know maybe right now you're not quite strong enough, to get the ball to the basket without shooting it with two hands, that's what everyone does. But this is just to try and work on that stuff a little bit earlier than you usually would. Okay? So that's two. A. B. C. A. B. C. A. B. C. Let's do four more. A, B, C. Three more, a little bit quicker. A, B, C. A, B, C. One more. A, B, C. Good job. Put that hand in the cookie jar. Now when you're doing this, if you do have a hoop, this is a great thing to do on a hoop because then you can really shoot the ball at the hoop and not just have an imaginary basket like I have to do, okay? Next thing I want to show you, and you can take a second right now and pause the video and give yourself time to go grab some sort of chair, okay? So feel free to pause so you can grab yourself a chair so you can participate in this next part, okay? Alright, so as you can see, I've grabbed a chair, 
The reason I grabbed the chair is because I want to be able to show you all that even if you don't have a great place to shoot, you can still, when you're watching TV, when you're watching movies, when you're watching Beanie Babies or Star Wars or Harry Potter or whatever you, whatever you all watch now, you can still work on your game. So, we're going to do the same thing, A, B, C, jumpers, shooting form, except we're going to be in a chair. And again, I wouldn't do this around a lamp or your baby sister. But if you can find a good place in the house and you're bored and you don't want to go outside, the great thing you can do is just sit in a chair and work on your shooting form. Really, you guys will really be able to see me put that hand in the cookie jar on the C part of our shot. So, we'll do 10 ABC jumpers sitting in a chair that you can do at any time during the day. Don't have to be outside, don't even have to be standing, but this is what every great shooter does. They're always thinking about working on their game. Okay, 10 of them, ready? A, B, C, really shoot it up. A, B, C, A, B, C, good, A, B, C, A, B, C, and another thing you'll be able to pick up is when you shoot it up, if it's coming back close to where you shot it, if it comes right back to your hand, that means you're shooting it straight, which is exactly what we want. But if you shoot it like this, and it goes that way, then you know you're shooting it that way, and you, that's something you want to work on. Okay? Let's do four more. A. B. C. A. B. C. Two more. A. B. C. One more. Make it your best one. Really snap that wrist and put that hand in the cookie jar. Last one. A. B. C. Great job. I know that's not the most exciting drill, but that's a drill that you can do forever. Whether or not you have a court, a hoop, whatever it is, you can always work on your game no matter where you're at. Alrighty, campers, we're on to our last thing. Now, I'm ready to see who has the strongest legs in all of UMD virtual camp. First thing we're gonna do, we have a chair out of the way now, don't need that anymore. Make sure you don't just throw it, but sit it somewhere nicely so mom doesn't get mad at you and me. What we're going to do, our first thing, is going to be lunge between the legs burners. They're going to burn those legs up. What that's going to look like is we're going to get into the lunge, just like so. Not super fun. I'll do it from the side as well so you can see what my legs look like. You want to have a 90 degree angle, or, or almost like part of a square with both legs, okay? What we're going to do is work on our between the leg crossovers. Now I know that's not a move that all of you have done before. That's why we're doing it like this so you can really work on it. We're going to use our mouse dribbles that we used to, well, we've used them essentially the whole camp with me. Mouse dribbles, nice and long. So, we're going to get into that lunge stance. We're going to take our left leg, this guy right here. Pick him up, step him out. Making sure you have enough room behind you. You're not going to run into anyone. We get here, 
And we're going to go mouse dribbles between the legs in this space that we created right here. Ten of them. I'll, I'll be the example first. Just like this. Oops. I need, we're going to do a ten count of those. And it's going to be my sort of ten count. So it's not going to be ten quick seconds. We're really going to burn those legs up. They don't call them lunge burners for no reason. Again, stand like a soldier. That left leg up, stepping out. We are lunging, and I need a ten count of between the legs. Ready, set. Go! One, two, three, I'm gonna speed up. Four, woo, you burn! Five, six, ah! seven, eight, fire in my legs. Collect yourself. Shake those legs out. Because you guessed it. We now have right leg going forward. Left foot and back. Between the legs. Lunge burners. Whew. Find your balance. And here we go. something that's going to help you be able to put the ball between your legs and make that move a little more comfortable. Okay? Last thing we got. Now, we all got to be a little bit careful with this one. Because I don't know if you're like me, but I can't do the splits. I can go maybe this far and I'm in trouble. But what we're going to do is crossover inches. And you'll see why I call them inches here in a second. So you're going to start right here, about feet shoulder length apart. We're going to do 10 crossovers right in front of us at whatever pace you want to go. I say crossovers is every time whatever hand you start with so I start with the ball in my right hand one every time it gets back to my right hand is one it's not one two three it's one two three okay so we'll do ten of those and then spread those legs out a little bit further 10 more, spread them out a little further. 10 more, spread them out a little further. 10 more, and finally, you're gonna max it out and see how far you can go. You guys are probably a little more flexible than me though. And as soon as we get to that spot, then we're gonna inch them back in until we're shoulder length apart. Woo! All right. I hope you all took that warm up seriously. Because we're going to be stretching here. All right. 10 crossovers. You can either try and go at my pace or you can try and beat me. However, it works to push yourself. That's what I want you to do. Okay? 10. Shoulder length. Five. 
we're going to do crossovers for 10, five times as we inch our way out, and then we're going to inch our way back in four times. So it'll be nine total sets. Okay? Ten of them. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, good job. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten are done. Now get your, now get your feet out. One, two, three, four. Out some more. Whew. Feeling the burn a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, here we go. A little bit further. Oh boy. And we got one more after this, too. Ten more, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, ah, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now here's where we get ourselves into trouble. A little bit further than the last one. back to normal. Ten more. Almost there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last one. Here we go. Ten more crossover. Let's finish it. Make sure I'm okay. Let me stress. All right, I think I'm good. I think I'll survive. Everybody, great job with our workout today. Felt like we got better. Felt like we had a lot of fun. And I feel like the fire was most definitely brought. I just want to say a great job overall with all of these camp workouts, both of me and Coach Brueggemann. I really felt like you all got better and you all were willing to push yourselves outside your comfort zone. For that, I'm very proud of you. Great job. That's all the coach can ask for. So great job. Everyone knows what's coming. Take the ball in your right hand, throw it over the shoulder. Hands right here. And you know what's coming. Shakes. 
Shanks. 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 Shanks.